Hey Heavy Airsofters, welcome back to the dreaded airsoft vlog. So there is definitely a lot going on in the world, not as much the airsoft world with the coronavirus going on right now. So it's kind of, it's very slow right now, which definitely sucks because we can't go out. <laughs> so it's uh, making things just by far a lot more difficult trying to just get out and do stuff, honestly. Most you can do is go to the grocery store, and that's pretty much it, really. I was kind of looking through Airsoft news to see kind of what was going on with things, and I saw that Silo, for Silo Entertainment, uh, big Airsoft YouTuber, uh, he apparently got infected with the coronavirus. He's the first Airsoft just person that I know that has it, and he didn't get it from an Airsoft field. That was my first thought. I was like, oh, shoot, is that... Does that mean that a bunch of people got infected on the field or something like that? No, it wasn't that case at all. Apparently, it was uh, his girlfriend works at was it the airport, and uh, for, through that they got infected. And it looks like he's not doing too good right now. So kind of send the love his way, and hopefully he gets better. Uh, really seems like a really nice guy. So love out to you, man. <laughs> so as far as the coronavirus goes, uh, it's shut down pretty much everything. California. As far as last week, every uh, site is completely shut down. So there's no place to even go airsofting unless you're doing it in a private place. So, and I know Europe, I think, still has some places open, what I was reading in some uh, videos today. But for the most part, everything's getting shut down, and eventually everything will be completely shut down no matter what. So it's going to be kind of hard. So as far as that, all you can kind of do is work on your guns that kind of sucks but i mean it sucks and it doesn't suck because then that means you, know, you can get ready for the next big game <laughs> so there was another video that i was watching uh, that was talking about how norwich is actually going to be rooting airsoft in certain ways which was an interesting title but once i kind of watched that and it, it brought up some really good points uh from this uh youtuber that Basically, he changed the game of how Airsoft's going to be working, where he's up the quality of life that you're basically getting a product that works out the door compared to getting something, having to upgrade it, spend all this extra money, and you don't have to do that. His products, apparently, uh, he's actually had some issues uh, with the magazine and some other stuff. I think the boxes were breaking. Uh, in, in delivery, but he's done a great job as far as I know from what I've heard and read that he's bringing out a product and then he's he's working with people where he's able to get fixes out and he sent uh, free magazines to everyone that even bought his product, so that was really nice of him. Not a lot of places will do something like that. He just did it right off the bat. And then on top of that, so he's got a 25-year policy that will continue to fix work on your guns that if something breaks down that he'll replace it fix it unless it's something that's pretty catastrophic and then then that's on you kind of thing at that point <laughs> but that's actually really nice um, no other um, pro product will do that or any other company as far as I know so props to him so that's going to be changing the whole ball game as airsoft companies creating products now so we'll see how that plays out I mean he only has the pistol and the sniper, I think he's working on an AEG uh, M4, I think. So we'll see how that kind of plays out because he might be just like the next top brand uh, just kind of coming out of it because he's just creating a quality product. So, hey, power to you, man. All right. <laughs> so as I've said, a lot of places are shut down, and the question is really now is how long are places going to be shut down for? And from just kind of listening for as far as the United States goes with President Trump, and they were talking about originally it was going to be a two-week ordeal, and we're like, what, week and a half or something like that right now. But it sounds like it's going to be up to a month, maybe end of April. But I, I've heard things where it could go on for the next three months. So we don't really know, but we're hopeful that maybe we can get back out into reality uh, next month because you can only have things shut down for so long before we got to get going or we have to change something. 
if it comes down to it, everyone is just wearing hazmat suits, I would imagine. And that would be a bizarre reality. I mean, shoot. <laughs> right now, even, what was it, the terrorists are telling the other terrorists that you can't even, don't go or doing this or whatever, that it's just crazy. The whole world is just on a standstill. That blows my mind, honestly. Um, like, like I said, it's, because it's something where it's a common cold, but it's got more to do with its symptoms because it's, it affects the lungs so heavily and that it'll affect people that are 40, 40 years or older and will actually die from that. So that's why it was addressed so severely that it was going to be such a global ordeal. I'm just hoping to kind of get back out and do something at some point because that is one of my main things of getting exercise. I'm having to try and rehabilitate myself with the elliptical that I've got in the house at least, which has been collecting dust for a good while. <laughs> so I, I, it's all about heavy air stuff, but you don't want it, you don't want it too heavy. <laughs> it's just trying to stay active as best you can. Uh, I've been watching a lot of TikToks, and uh, it's been a small, good size, but small community for the airsofter. So, people that if you have videos out there, put those out on TikTok. That, that's I've been having a lot of fun with that, doing that. So, there's a lot of things you can do, um, supporting other YouTubers and watching other people. What I've been doing lately, personally, is I've been just looking at people that have uploaded the most recent airsoft videos, commenting on those, talking to people. Uh, I got a one gentleman that's in the Philippines that I kind of talked to back back here and there. Just a lot of fun. It's just trying to figure out what you're doing and trying to just stay positive with things. So, but anyways, thanks for sticking around for the dreaded airsoft vlog. So, till next time, heavy airsofters.